Hello everyone and welcome to another Royal Reading here at Mad World Tarot. It's a Thursday afternoon, things are hotting up in the world of politics and we're now getting rumours and speculation that Meghan Markle might come out and defy royal protocol and actively endorse Kamala Harris and her candidacy. So um, I'm going to have a look at the story with the Mystic Mondays tarot. Haven't used this tarot deck for a while. It's a nice and shiny tarot deck and uh, we're going to do a relationship spread because way back in the mists of time when I think Megan was lamenting that no one had asked if she was okay. That's when she was out here in South Africa giving that infamous interview to Tom Bradby. I think that Kamala Harris actually tweeted some support for Meghan Markle. But that was way back when the Parkles were still quite influential. There's just been a stinging Telegraph article about them and saying how they are politically irrelevant now. And so if Meghan came out and endorsed Kamala Harris, it would be a question of who cares? Um, there's a celebrity days and nights um, bit of gossip as well that says even if Meghan did endorse Kamala Harris, it would be pointless. She doesn't have enough people. She doesn't know enough people to host a fundraiser. And of course, at this point, that's really the key thing. How much money can you raise? How fast can you raise it? And um, apparently she has also been heard to trash Kamala Harris, according to this um, blind item so basically saying some quite nasty things about her behind her back to some quite influential people in California that is gossip so uh, we're going to have a look at this as I say I'm going to do a relationship spread out Neil Sean let's not forget him uh, he says that allegedly we need one of those of course when we mention Neil Sean um, Megan would like to and has in fact offered or suggested to, uh, that she introduce Kamala Harris at some event uh, and that that would somehow raise her profile and her status and I might get the giggles. Try not to. <laughs> Try to take this seriously and do a serious reading on this but as I say it's going to be a relationship spread past energy how did the two view each other in the past and uh, what's going on now would Kamala Harris welcome some intervention from Megan Megan introducing her grabbing the mic from her and making a speech all about Megan um, or is this a thing of nightmares will Megan Markle Markle Kamala Harris basically that's what we're doing today and of course, let's remind you that this is just tarot for fun and entertainment. It's all speculation, all my opinion. Just read energy here and there is a disclaimer in the box below. Relationship spread coming up. Past energy, present energy, Kamala Harris. What lies between the two right now? Megan's energy, present energy. Where will this relationship go? If it can be called a relationship situation, maybe is the right word. And we have the princess of wands in reverse. That's the page of wands. It's in reverse. That is the news, the good news. The, I will announce you at um, a, a gathering when you're going to give a speech, DNC maybe. Um, I'll be there. No, you won't. It's in reverse. So whatever outreach there might have been, enthusiastic, let me grab the microphone. Look, you can even see that giant microphone in her hands, um, in her yoga pose. I don't think so, is the response. Or maybe there was no response. That's the underlying energy. So communication's not going well as our underlying energy. Enthusiasm of one not being met by the other possibly also as our underlying energy. So I think we're in the zone with the energy here and let's get to it. Past. I'm going to pull both cards. That's Kamala Harris's energy and this is Meghan Markle's energy. And there we have exactly the scenario that I described um, with the support. That's the Knight of Cups. 
uh, or I feel your pain, I'm sorry for you, uh, whatever is going on. And Megan's energy is the two of pentacles in reverse. Nobody asked if I was okay. I'm feeling unbalanced, I'm feeling overwhelmed, um, exhausted, out of sorts with that energy. So there we have it. We have the, uh, the complaint of being overwhelmed, of being um, destabilized and finding life very difficult and then we have the message of support knight of cups i hear you i feel your pain i share it and i'm not being snarky because i think at that point people who weren't watching really closely like um i'm sure many of you were i know i was and many other people mostly in those days on tumblr and in comment section of the daily mail Mm, we're thinking hmm but if you weren't following closely you would have thought bless the poor thing the horrible royal family treating her so cruelly and the british press and the british public there it is so uh that's the tale but now where are we many things have happened since then and where are we now kamala harris's energy two cards we've got the two of swords and uh, the Queen of Pentacles. Decision point for her, the Two of Swords and the Queen of Pentacles. She wants to be uh, very abundantly financed, Queen of Pentacles. I did say fundraising, uh, very important at this point. I fill up that war chest as fast as she can that's the queen of pentacles and she wants to be seen as reliable stable rock solid a bit wobbly in that cat in that arena at some points and there's the two of swords i'm at a crossroads in my life this is a huge moment in her life um, a turning point a decision point and the decision is really who can help me and who can't help me because she wants this um, stability. She wants to be endorsed by people who actually can give her tangible benefit. So it's not hostile energy. We've already got this little princess of wands in reverse. They're telling us its own little story. But this is, I've got to decide. I'm looking around and who can help me, who can't help me. Can you help me? The blind has told us that Megan doesn't have the network. She's not tapped into the, the network that uh, would be of use to somebody who needs to be Queen of Pentacles. So I think it's her utility that is being assessed. It's not a hard no, but it's hesitation. The Two of Swords is a hesitation energy while things are factored in, while things are processed to look around, who else could do it? Who else could do the fundraising? Who else could introduce me? Who's got a higher profile, higher status? Who's regarded in a better light? Because the Queen of Pentacles is somebody who's regarded in a very positive light because she's stable, she's rock solid, she's grounded, she's loyal. She's all of those things that, in my opinion, Meghan Markle is not. But it, it, it hasn't landed yet. So if this little message has gone out, and according to Neil Sean, it has, the offer has already been written in um, the folligraphy and sent off. It hasn't been responded to yet. Let's see. Megan's energy right now. What is Megan wanting, hoping for? She's got disappointment energy, betrayal energy, and things not working out energy um, with the eight of pentacles in reverse and the three of swords in reverse the three of swords is betrayal heartache um disappointment because she's tried pretty hard she's floated the notion of um taking the senate seat that was vacated um, diane feinstein's seat uh, she's tried that gig um, she's tried a few things. She, she went cold calling the senators about the uh, paid leave thing a while back. That didn't land very well. Um, so there's a lot of disappointment and heartache in here that she would like to um, reverse at the moment. But it's not very hopeful energy. 
with the Three of Swords. This is the great dream that has failed of her own presidential candidacy, which has gone up in smoke at this point. Um, the Eight of Pentacles is an interesting card because it's the working, hardworking, accomplishing something card and it's in reverse. She hasn't accomplished anything. And what does she have to offer? Uh, somewhere someone wrote a long list of her failures uh, since she joined the royal family and what she hasn't accomplished. It was quite a spectacular list. I wish I could remember off the top of my head the things that they itemized one by one. Um, but there it is. She doesn't have she doesn't have money. Ace of Pentacles. It's about making money through your hard work, your efforts, your accomplishments, your skill. Uh, but it's in reverse and the in reverse energy is that unfortunate grifter word uh, which is, is, is stuck to Megan now. Um, Bill Simmons, was it Bill Simmons? It's such a giant cast of characters one has to keep in one's mind doing these readings. Um, talking about the Parkles and their efforts for Spotify. It's there. She hasn't accomplished anything. She doesn't have any money. Um, it's not going to work. And uh, she's already feeling some pain. So what's the energy between them? And there is the Seven of Wands. That's a defensive energy. And the King of Wands in reverse. Somebody being aloof. That would be Kamala Harris. Somebody wanting to grab the limelight, for me that would be Megan, the King of Wands, that is her energy, it's a fire sign energy, but it's in reverse. Kamala Harris knows, and this is of course me speculating my opinion, Kamala Harris knows that if she lets Megan onto the stage, grab that giant microphone, bit of a Kevin Costner moment, that fundraiser he did for, I think it was for firefighters, if I can remember correctly, um, she knows that Megan will try and steal her thunder. It'll be all about me, 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 and not so much about Kamala Harris. So Kamala Harris is maintaining that distance, maintaining that position of I'm just stepping back, I'm protecting myself, I'm not making myself avail available to your messages. Self-defense energy there, just standing back, staying aloof, holding her, her, her position, her status, knowing that there's this attention grab in here and a grab for power, a grab for limelight. The King of Wands is all about the theatre and the drama and I'm your le leader and I'm the one that can uh, part the, the, the sea and lead you to um, the promised land. And uh, Kamala Harris is wanting none of it. Don't want that. So where's this relationship, not relationship going? That's Kamala Harris's energy, the Four of Pentacles, and Megan's energy. <laughs> wow. Okay. These cards are saying, well, you left me in the cupboard for so long. We'll, we'll give you a very clear outcome. Thank you. Thank you, little cards. Kamala Harris has got the Four of Pentacles, which is control. It's all about control. It's all about status. It's, uh, it's the money card. It's I'm hanging on to what is mine. And this is my opportunity and this is my moment. And don't you dare think that you can sidle in here with your messaging and grab it from me. There it is. Very clear. And Megan has the Ten of Swords. Failure. Disaster. Uh, collapsed on the floor. In this case in a puddle of blood. But it would be a puddle of tears. Devastated disappointed it's her big moment it's her dream since she did that um uh, thing with her class wrote the letter off about the sexist ads and then claimed all the glory for herself whereas it was actually a class effort and her dad lied apparently allegedly according to tom bauer and pretended that she'd got a response from i think hillary clinton none no such thing ever happened but she was going in she was aiming for the white house ever since then here is the broken heart that she's trying to uh, bandage and solve with this offer to announce Kamala Harris and perhaps be the next ambassador to the United Kingdom if things go well or Secretary General of the United Nations. I'm being snarky. Don't panic. It's resulting in the Ten of Swords. Devastating blow. The end. The end of the dream. 
for Meghan Markle. So there you have it. That is what these rather shiny cards have to tell us today. Thank you for watching. I'll see you again tomorrow.